happy Cest Fest! Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video that's gonna be slightly different for my channel. This is gonna be a first. Okay, we're doing a first. I actually do not have any foundation on today because we are gonna be swatching all of my orange blushes. Did something fall out? I don't think so. We're gonna be swatching all of my orange blushes on my face. I'm gonna be showing you the different undertones. I'm gonna be letting you know about my favorites. This is gonna be powders and creams and all of that. And we're just gonna see how it all looks. Just something new for me. And if you haven't been here before, do consider subscribing because I do upload quite a lot of videos every week all about makeup and beauty. And today it's all about one of my favorite things, which is orange blushes. <laughs> This is of course a million percent inspired by Kaki. Kaki does a video, I think she's done it two years in a row, where she is doing Fjords Fest, where she is swatching all of her cream blushes on her face, maybe powder blushes as well, I'm not 100% sure, I've only seen it. Maybe it's powder blushes as well, I'm not 100% sure. In that favorite color category that she loves, which is that like more reddish berry tone. I will of course link her and those videos down below, but since this is not the color of the I am cold, old trend. This is the orange color that I love. This is of course Cest Fest. We're sticking with that name. Deal with it. And yeah, I just have some concealer and some brows and I put on lip balm because I am going to be putting all these on my face and I'm going to be showing you what I think about them, the different undertones, what I mean when I think a blush is not orange enough because I did bring in some blushes here that I technically don't think are orange but other people describe them as orange to me so I am going to show you on my face what I mean when I say that I don't think they're the right kind of orange. Let me zoom in a little bit and if you're wondering about any of these blushes, I will link as many of them down below as possible. I don't know if all of these are available, but check the description box for more info. I'm surprised that I was even able to put on some brows because obviously I'm going to be taking all of this off once I am done with it. This is one of my OGs. This isn't available anymore. And this is the ColourPop and Kathleen Lights collaboration that is called So Retrograde. And this is what I really love in an orange blush. It is a warm toned yellow orange blush and it has shimmer in it and like look at that I love a color like this that is warm but still orange and with that like yellow undertone so this is I probably should have put this even more to the front but I'll show another one as well this is the kind of blush I like it is orange it has a yellow golden undertone it's definitely not leaning pink and it has shimmer to it what's not to love Unfortunately, this continued. That's the part that's not to love. Another blush that is very similar to that is the Heaven's Glow Radiant Veil Blush in Persimmon that is by M Cosmetics. This one came out last year and it sold out pretty quickly, but I think they brought it back. This is a similar tone. You can see it's just a little bit lighter. It is a similar tone. It also has that yellow undertone. It's just a little bit lighter and it is not as shimmery but it is very, very similar. It is that warm, yellowy, orange with a shimmer. What I like. This, this is what I like. Let me show you something that I don't like, that I don't think is an orange blush. This one was what I thought was gonna be an orange blush. When I saw the promo pictures of this one, this is for the Nessa Myricks. This is the yummy skin balm, blah, 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 blah. It's a cream blush. This is Bellini. And I thought that this was going to be an orange. When I looked at the promo pictures, I was sure that this was going to be an orange. But this is a coral. Do you see what I mean? This isn't orange. This has a lot of pink in it. I think this is a coral. So, unfortunately, this isn't my favorite shade. Because I want something that has less pink in it. But for some people, this is an orange, but I think that this is an orange. So yeah, that is the Bellini one. It's beautiful. I love the formula. I just, I just wish it was this. Here's another blush that was also like the orangey one. This is the Blushed Rouge Duo by Juvia's Place. And this is the one that was like, it almost looked like a bright orange. But again, this isn't orange. This is a duo. I made, I made it a point to do blushes that was you can see this is more of a coral red that was either duos or singles so that you didn't have to buy 
a full like palette to get it and you can see this is definitely not the same undertone it's leaning a lot more like Bellini just a little bit more of a pink undertone so even though I think this is beautiful I, I don't think it's orange this isn't an orange blush this one is an orange blush though and this is pumpkin by Trixie cosmetics this is a cream blush it comes in a little heart like this uh, this is a really pretty one but when I put it on you can see that it is orange but it is not the same kind of warm undertone it doesn't have the same kind of yellow undertone as like these do it's beautiful and it is orange but this has a little bit more of a pastely white into it and it it translates very like a sheer peach on the skin so it's definitely orange i just wish that this had a little bit more of yellow in it instead of this almost pastely almost like white pigment in it. it's beautiful i just it's not perfect here's another one that's described as an orange this is almost famous by nyx this is the sweet cheeks and i do think that this is an orange but this is more of a almost reddish orange and you can see that this is much darker than what i prefer and it also doesn't really have those uh, yellow pigments in it it doesn't have that yellow undertone it's more of an almost reddish orange which is beautiful but i do prefer those on my lips over my cheeks because when it comes to my cheeks i do prefer this undertone some people have been asking me lately if I've tried this one. This is the, uh, I think it's Fuego something, Fuego Flush. Yes, I definitely have been trying it. I definitely have been using it. This is from Fenty Beauty. This is the cream blush. And this is this kind of undertone. Let me put it here. You can see this definitely is that kind of, it's almost like this exact same. It has a shimmer, it has the yellow undertone. It definitely is a cream version of those shades and I do think that if you like cream blushes more and you would like to get something like uh, these definitely the Fuego flush is that I think it is a beautiful formula I think it is a beautiful color but again if you don't like yellow undertones <laughs> this will not be for you I thought that this was going to be the orange super shock blush when this one was released this is the all laced up by Colourpop um, when you put it here, you can, you can, I mean, you can almost see that this is more of a peach. Like, you can see it here, right? It's beautiful, it is shimmery, but it is more of a peach. It does have a little bit of a light golden sheen to it, I think you can see. But when I put it like this, you can definitely see that this is more of the coral. This isn't orange. I'm sorry, I'm still waiting for the orange Super Shock blush. This isn't that. This is a peach with a slight gold sheen. Please, Colourpop, can we have this kind of a shade in a Super Shock? Because they haven't done that yet. I'm sorry, they haven't. Some people keep telling me, oh, this... No, 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 no. They haven't done that. They keep doing this. Even when they do the lippies... Uh, let me know if you would like me to do this with the orange lippies as well. They always keep doing this like peach undertone and it drives me a little bit crazy one blush though that definitely is this but in a more expensive version is the nars Taj mahal this really is that like bright orange with a like a sheen to it look at that look at that and look at my pores I'm really accentuating my pores here look at that but as you can see this one has almost a little bit of a shift to it. You can see there is almost a little bit of a corally red shift to it as well. So it's almost like if this one had a baby with this one, because there is definitely a little bit of a corally pink shift to it, but this is a nice, more brighter, more vibrant uh, orange blush with a shimmer. If you think that these are a little bit too light for you, if you have more of a like tan to deep skin tone, Taj Mahal will most definitely work on you. This is technically a highlighter for a deeper skin tone, but it also works as a shimmery orange blush on your cheeks. This is by Jaclyn Cosmetics. This is Vava Boom. I don't know what's going on with that brand anymore, but like you can see this is let's put it here this is that kind of a orange like you can see it's so so similar honestly it's so similar to so retrograde 
more than I thought actually. Maybe so retrograde is just a hint lighter, but wow, those are similar. So if you missed out on Soul Retrograde and you don't have a problem buying from Jaclyn Cosmetics, the Vava Boom is very, very similar. I did mention this as one of my favorites of last year. I think this is called Florette. This is by Lethal Cosmetics. This is the shimmery formula. I'll show you two of their matte blushes as well. And you can buy these as singles. I in the PR package, I got one, some of these stickers that I put on, but you can buy a single compartment like this, or you can make your own face palette with three like this. You can like build your own thing, or you can just buy the pan like this one and put it in your own C palette. It's like a build your own blush situation. <laughs> they also have highlighters and they have uh, bronzer contours as well. But I think this is Florette and this is a powder blush and it is an orange that is a shimmer and this, is a little bit, you can see, it is a little, like, not peach, but it definitely is a little bit more on this side, but then it has that, like, orangey golden sheen to it that makes it appear very warm on the skin. So if you wanted to try a warm orange blush, but you didn't want to go, like, this yellow, maybe this florette actually from Lethal Cosmetics could be a happy middle because it has that more corally base, but then the sheen is that like warm yellowy orange. So I have the other two blushes in here. I don't, I think this one is Tendril and this one is, I don't remember, but I will put it down below together with like the, all the Lethal Cosmetics blushes down below. I built my own face palette, but like I said, you can buy them as singles. So let's uh, just swatch them. Oh, one of these have been through the ringer. Let's swatch both of them on my fingers. You can see one is a little bit more yellow. Oop. And one of them is a little bit more orange and these are matte. And I mean, I prefer a shimmery blush, but I can't deny that I love how the undertone of these, because both of these are warm yellow leaning oranges. I mean, especially this, this is literally this like yellowy orange that's here. Like if you mix these two together, it's literally the color of my singe brushes. I can't believe uh, when the studio light comes on these, they look so yellow, but like this color that I see is not this color. I don't understand why, or maybe, uh, I think it's the light that's reflecting. But when I put them down here, <laughs> maybe you can see it's very much resembling this kind of a color. But also now that I look at it here, it's looking a little bit more yellow. Oh, there we go. Yes, this is very much resembling the color of my cinch brushes, but the studio lights, because the shiny surface makes these look um, a little like lighter than they are, but they're a little bit more of a sunflower, orangey yellow in real life, which is the kind of color that I like. This is my own brush brand, by the way, Cinch Beauty. It's always linked down below. But I mean, I love a color like this, like an orangey yellow yumminess. And I really like using these and then layering like a gold highlighter on top to just create my own shimmery blush. This one was also mentioned in my yearly favorites of last year. And this is the Benefit Butterfly. Again, shimmery blush that is an orange. This is not as shimmery. I will say Benefit really perfected a shimmery formula that just is very finely milled and just gives a sheen instead of like a metallicness. This one is an orange. It's very similar to these in undertone, not as yellow as like some of these, but it's definitely a yellowy, yellowy leaning orange with a sheen. It's just not as metallic as some of these other ones. Like this one, of course, is like very, but this is a highlighter as well, so it makes sense. But you can see it's just a little bit more of a subtle sheen to it but it definitely is a yellowy orange and you can definitely see the difference now between what I think is an orange and what I think is just a peach or a coral. This packaging is atrocious. This is from Be Perfect. Look at this packaging. Like I could kill a bitch with this. And this is their shimmery blush in Scorched. And this is also like a more warm uh, yellow leaning orange that has a shimmer to it. Let's put it here. Yeah, you can see it's very, very, very similar to these that we had here. So this one you can buy at Beauty Bay. So if some of these other ones are a little hard to get a hold of, this one that is very, very similar, honestly, to both So Retrograde and the Persimmon one, and also this one down here that I don't even remember anymore. But yeah, this is definitely a really nice 
that's a weird way to have a swatch but here we are a really nice yellow leaning orange this is of course the one that's most yellow so far but it's like also a yellow but i really do like this one you can find it at beauty bay but the packaging though the packaging makes me like not reach for it that often this is also a really nice one this is the solmone sunlight love blusher from odin's eye this one is in orange sunny and this is a matte orange uh, so this one is one without shimmer they do have one that's lighter as well but i think that one leans a little bit more peach than this one and this one is more like a orange but this one is very dark this will definitely show up on you if you have a more tan skin tone because it is definitely a very pigmented and much darker blush than some of the other ones and you can see that this one is darker without being this reddish color that this NYX one is it is just a little bit more on leaning a little bit more on the terracotta like brown side rather than the red side so if you want something that's a little bit darker uh, and you don't want something that's like red like this this one from Odin's Eye, honestly, super pretty. And as you can see, it like really layers and you can build this one up. I think this is a beautiful formula. Here we have another one that's a little bit more on the yellow side. This is honestly, if we thought that'd be perfect, like <laughs> packaging was ugly, what is this then? This is probably the ugliest packaging in my collection. This is the Made by Michelle Blush Pressed in Sun Trap. But the color is beautiful though. It's almost like a neon. Again, it is that kind of very yellowy orange that like when you compare it to an orange you're like oh it's a yellow but then if you compare it to a yellow you're like no there's actually a lot of orange in this one this is also one of those colors that's like in between a yellow and an orange and this is a matte and i will say this is not as um pigmented and easy to work with as some of the other blushes that i have in my collection i just think that this is like not my favorite formula. I do like the color though. I really do like a yellowy blush and I think that this is a pretty color and that's probably why I'm gonna keep it in my collection. But this package, am I gonna keep keep it until my next declutter maybe I should say but I do like the color. It is a little bit unique but also like it's very similar to this one so do I need both? Probably not. Okay, I have some like cream and liquid ones left. I think this is from Florisis and this is in Peony Rosy Blush. This is not necessarily described as an orange, but it does have a lot of those orange things in it, but it's more of a peach. But I thought I'd show you how some of these blushes look, but initially when you open it, you, you might think like, oh, it's a little bit of a terracotta, but then when you swatch it together with some of these that actually are a terracotta, you can see that it's very much more of a coral. It's leaning a lot more like this one here, for example, a lot more of that like corally, pink, peach, like that vibe instead of like an orange, because I mean, you can see the difference in undertones here. This is a beautiful formula though. I feel like this one for the longest time was described as an orange, but I don't know if I think this is an orange. This is the Glossier in Dawn. Um, this is, I mean, it's not like it's not an orange. Maybe it is more of an orange than I thought actually, because that is very orange. Maybe it's because it's so deep or so saturated because it's not yellow leaning and this is more of an actual like and maybe this is why this hasn't been the favorite color for me because it is more similar to this one like a reddish orange and i will say i have done a video where i have been comparing these two as like somewhat dupes and i still think that if you were craving this one you definitely could get this one this one is a little bit more red than the dawn one i like an orange that has more yellow in it like some of the these are here. I wanted to have more yellow in it. This is just a true orange that is just leaning a little bit too red to be my absolute favorite. But I was actually thinking that this was more coral, but now that I swatch it and I can see it like in the grand scheme of things, I realize that it's not that it's coral that makes me not have it as my favorite. It is that it's leaning almost a little bit too red. Hmm. This one, same. This one has been described as an orange. This is Joy. Yeah, Joy by Rare Beauty. Uh, this isn't an orange. Let's just put it like that. This isn't an orange. This is a peach. 
Can everybody see that now? That's a peach. We're moving on. Last one is also made by Mitchell and this is the blush in yellow yellow and I have never used this one because I forgot. This is yellow though. That is a very peculiar formula. That looks like mustard. That is and not like not like mustard from Sweden which is normally more brown than this. This is like American mustard. Um so that's not orange at all but it's definitely means showing you the difference between yellow and pink. Yellow, pink, yellow, pink. I love swatching all of these out and I do look insane, but I think my biggest surprise today is how close the Vava Boom is to some of my favorite shades, which are over here. And also I was surprised at how much coral it is from this one from Lethal Cosmetics. I thought that these two were more similar than they are. That did surprise me a little bit. Still, my absolute favorite is so retrograde here. And I also love this Persimmon one. It is absolutely amazing. And I'm pretty sure that this one is the one from Benefit, right? That one is beautiful as well. But happy Cest Fest. <laughs> I look insane. But <laughs> this is looking like just a couple of mistakes have been made. But this is the destination. I know at the end of Khaki's Fjord's Fest, she always blends these together. But some of mine are powder, but let's, let's try. I am an orange. I am an orange. Do, 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 do. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> oh yeah, that rare beauty that just literally, I could have just used that and had over my entire face. <laughs> I have become one with the orange. Okay, okay, now that I look like I caught something contagious, <laughs> I'm gonna end this video. Don't forget to check out Kaki's videos down below. Don't forget to check out the description box for more info about my blushes. Let me know which are your absolute favorite like colors when it comes to specific cosmetics. Do you have something in your collection that like you keep buying again and again, even though technically you already have something you love? For me, it's definitely orange blushes and orange lippies. They're all my favorites. Nobody can take me serious looking like this. I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you again very soon in a new video. Not looking like this. Bye.